now it's time for some science and health. With obesity a real health threat, creating a personalized food pyramid is a great way to teach children to eat right. If you look closely at this pyramid, I customized it to my favorite foods in each of the food groups. For the grain, I, I selected a selection of pastas. For vegetables, I chose broccoli. For fruit, I chose mango. The oils, I chose butter, dairy, milk, and then fish for the protein. Each student can choose from the correct food groups and use graphics toolbox to pattern fill their favorite into the right slice of the pyramid. Let me show you how. So we have a blank pyramid and then we created the groups of foods of all the different varieties of foods that would, would fall into the different food groups. So a student could take a look at this, zoom in on the, um, the grain section and decide that they like popcorn. So I'm going to frame the popcorn. I framed the popcorn and now I'm using the pattern fill. Just like we would use color fill to fill an area with solid color, Pattern fill allows us to, to frame out an area and to take it and to fill that area with that pattern. If you zoom back, I did, you can see that that pattern just repeated across. Now for the vegetables, let's choose sweet potatoes. I'm going to frame out the sweet potatoes, use the pattern fill, click inside here, and if I don't really love the way they're positioned, before I exit, I can actually hit on the hand tool and move this around so that I like the way it's positioned better. Let's move on to fruits and pick grapes. For the fats, I'll choose butter again. For the dairy, I'll choose yogurt. And for the protein, I'll pick chicken. So now this student has just customized their own pyramid with the foods that they particularly like. And this really gives them the chance to really concentrate and understand the types of foods they eat and the proportion of how they should be eating them. Rather than just filling it with color that represent the food groups, they truly fill it with the proper foods. Then they can take it home and put it on the refrigerator to remind them how to eat. This project can be applied many different ways. Some options are to have the kids record what they ate one day and create a food pyramid that reflects the foods they actually ate. Then they could create a second pyramid showing how they should eat. I hope I've been able to show you a meaningful representation of how valuable graphic toolbox is in the classroom, how it will help you to meet core curriculum standards, and how vital this technology is for preparing your students to be competitive in this highly visual world. I hope that you see that the possibilities are endless on how Graphics Toolbox can be implemented across all subjects and with all ages and all learning levels. You can see more projects and learn more on our website at www.greatsoftwaretools.com. As passionate as we are to help schools integrate this valuable technology into their classrooms, we're equally dedicated to helping people learn to use Graphics Toolbox. A perfect way to get started is with our Getting Started with Graphics Toolbox tutorial videos. They take you step by step through four popular projects. They run about 45 to 60 minutes long, but they're set up in chapters so you can stop and start as needed. We suggest that you have the video and Graphics Toolbox open at the same time. Watch part of the video, pause it, toggle to Graphic Toolbox, try out the technique, then go back to the video and watch more. People have found these to be a great way to learn the program. Okay. Bye-bye and thanks for coming.